Now, does doing your taxes give you a headache? No, certainly not for this man. Logan Ward from the African Tax Administration Forum has been named the eighth most influential tax figure. His organization has managed to broaden the UN's tax policy. It's also managed to get the AU to place tax as a priority on its agenda. Logan now joins us from Pretoria to discuss some of the challenges of taxation in Africa. So, Mr. Ward, thank you so much for your time and good morning to you. I mean, I have to start this conversation with a congratulations being ranked the eighth world, uh, rather most influential man in tax in the world, but also the second in Africa. Surely this should be a milestone for Africa and tax administration within the continent. Thank you very much. Good morning. Yes, it's very exciting. I think uh, the world of tax has really changed and uh, there are many things happening around the world in Africa, especially uh, trying to tax the digital the, the, the digital economy, the, you know, the new ways of doing business. And Africa certainly um, is playing its part in making its voice heard. And, and this global tax uh, recognition is uh, really uh, for the whole of the continent, and we're very excited uh, for the recognition. Absolutely. Has it been a journey, though, and is it still a journey in ensuring that Africa's tax affairs are in order? Well, uh, ATAB, the African Tax Administration Forum, uh, born largely out of uh, the South African Revenue Service and 10 other uh, African Revenue Services across the continent, is 10 years old. And over the past 10 years, we've seen the growth of tax uh, on the continent exponentially. Uh, on average, between 12 and 14 percent of GDP was the tax 10 years ago. Today, it hovers around 18 to 20 percent. A lot of work uh, goes into it. Um, you know, we have had to train uh, more than 150,000 tax officials across the continent in tax and auditing and systems and, and various forms of skills. Some of the biggest challenges we face on the continent is the consequence of international taxation, the plethora of multinational companies that does great business on the continent, but that needs uh, um, policy and political stability in our continent in order to do good business right. on the one hand. But on the other hand, a lot of these companies, although tax rates are between 27% like in South Africa or 30% average like in the rest of Africa, mm. a lot of them actually pay 0 to 5% tax because of the provision of tax treaties and as the Minister of Finance of South Africa indicated in his budget speech recently, because of things such as interest deductibility and the provisions that a lot of these tax treaties that countries are signing with, especially first world countries, are providing. And these companies can then deduct before paying tax a lot of deductibilities, for example, interest, loans, right. support for technical services. And so part of what we must do is to protect the African taxpayer so that we don't depend on loans and debt as we do. Yeah, and you're talking also from, from a state's perspective, but when you look at businesses within the African region and the impact of COVID-19, has it been a unique challenge just in this pandemic alone to see tax collection uh, sort of being a success within the continent or even in South Africa for that matter? Most of the tax that was consistent during the time of COVID has really been the indirect taxes, uh, you know, VAT, um, etc. The direct taxes, the company taxes took a knock because, you know, employment took a knock, business and business um, enterprises took a knock. And you find that uh, tax had to play a role to keep the economy afloat. So across the continent, including South Africa, there was more than 127 measures that tax authorities had to take to bring relief uh, to the economy. For example, it had to delay, allow for a delay in payment of taxes. It had mm. to, you know, scrap penalties and fines. Uh, it also helped with the distribution of PPEs. It did all sorts of things during the pandemic. And so, yes, revenue did take a knock, um, just like every other part of the society. Yeah. But you also feel that uh, revenue and tax administrations are very close to the public because they do pay pay taxes. And so, uh, tax authorities played a big role both in the logistics around uh, COVID but also in, in supporting the type of economic relief that was required and the whole of the continent right. participated in this in this uh, campaign. All right well we just want to congratulate you again Mr. Logan Ward including the African Tax Administration Forum once again for this milestone. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank you.